All right, what's going on, guys? Six shot here, and dude, the SO list isn't something to brag about. To remain a virgin is not good, but raping may lead to prison time, a criminal record, and being on that SO registry. Sex is an essential need to continue living. One can survive prison, but one cannot survive sexlessness at all. To have sex even just once can change an incel's life for the better. I mean, the SO list is just a bragging list anyways. Being on the SO registry means he's not a virgin. Being known as a virgin is bad, so that means being on the SO registry is good. A criminal record may make you seem more attractive and may aid in getting a girlfriend legally. This guy is so delusional it's actually mind-boggling to see because he genuinely believes that the sex offender registry is something to brag about and that there's nothing wrong with raping people in general because of that. And he also mentions like oh you can't survive sexlessness but you can survive prison. It's like do you know what they do to rapists in prison? I've never been to jail personally but I've heard stories and none of them sound like something you want to happen to you bro. So I don't think that statement's exactly true. And once again just to drive home how out of touch this guy is he genuinely believes that if you don't have sex if you do not have inner force in your life you will die it's like i really do feel bad for this guy because he is living his life on this false idolization of intercourse wholeheartedly believing that even just having it one time will change his life entirely right which is just so far from the truth it's actually nuts because having intercourse one time ten times a million times a thousand times it won't change your life well, I guess unless you get an STD, but other than that, it won't change your life at all. After one hour, you go back to the exact same person you were before, except now you've lost everything you lived your life by. That false idolization of intercourse is now completely gone and you're devoid of all purpose you had prior. It's just really sad to see how just out of touch this guy is, you know what I mean? He's living his life based on a lie. And once again, back to the whole SO registry thing, he wholeheartedly believes that committing crimes, especially being on the SO list, is particularly attractive to people. What are you talking about, my brother? That list is out there to tell people to stay away from everyone on it it won't make you attractive in fact it does quite the opposite it makes you repulsive dude it makes people never want to see or interact with you because they know very well how much of a freak you truly are that's why the list is out there not for it to be a bragging right so how you manage to reach that conclusion is just insane to me and I'm particularly curious about the last part of this post that mentions obtain a girlfriend legally. What do you mean legally, my dog? Like, are you out there trying to human traffic people into being your girlfriend, hoping they get severe Stockholm Syndrome and fall in love with you? Like, what do you mean by legally obtain a girlfriend? Like, that is just such a freaky sentence to say, knowing it is coming from someone who supports rape in the SO registry as a bragging right. Like, this whole post is just extremely concerning, because I can only imagine the mind of the person behind it, because this is just the glimpse into it you know what i mean like this is two paragraphs into this person's mind so what's really going on at the bottom of the iceberg is just terrifying to think about and wholeheartedly but uh yeah i'm gonna call it here dude the sl list is not in any way something to brag about so i really hope that you can screw your head on and realize that before you end up on it yourself and throw your whole entire life away but uh yeah that's about it it's been six shot guys later